Welcome to Jeff Rose Game Room, and today I want to talk about a game that pissed me off. Honor and Duty. It falsely advertised that it was a 3D compatible game, which means you can play it on a 3D display with 3D glasses, such as these ones here. Nice PlayStation 3D glasses. You can get the logo. Well, no, you're not allowed because the feature's not there. I don't know why it's advertised, but I purchased this game thinking I'd be able to play in 3D. I also checked the PlayStation Store on the mobile app just to make sure that maybe there, there wasn't a mistake, but they're also advertising it the same here. So I sent an email to Strange Games Studios uh, and Reggie replied with uh, when you say 3D were you anticipating a PSVR game to which I replied no stereoscopic shutter 3D the game's description is very clear 3D display sold separately 3D glasses sold separately which I have both no options in the settings I have a PlayStation 3D display and PlayStation glasses what gives then Reggie replied okay let me check with Sony on this as the game doesn't support that. VR support is coming within a few weeks but that sort of 3D is not. I'm going to look at that and see why that's showing up on the game's description. That all being said, the game is more than a year old. It was released November 1st, 2016 and as of the recording of this video it is January 25th, 2018. Now with the game being available for more than a year now, you'd think that maybe somebody would have noticed this other than myself uh, and maybe fix the problem. But no, they haven't fixed the problem. The problem's still there. Um, now that I've emailed the company, you might see that the, the description will get changed, but who knows? We'll find out. I don't want to give people the wrong message, but I'm not trying to uh, just shit on uh, Strange Games Studios. Um, the game is pretty good. It's not a terrible game. Uh, it is quite outdated in the way of graphics. Um, it is very buggy. It's very glitchy. But the price that it's sold at, it is sold at a very budget price. It's kind of hard to complain. but. As soon as you start going advertising game features, people are going to expect them, no matter what you're paying. Um, now this kind of goes in more into the, the whole thing with the VR and, and the time and effort they're spending with the VR, which seems odd to me. I mean... I've jumped into the online on this and I've only been able to get into one game with two other people so like why are you updating a game to VR if nobody's playing it that's something I don't really understand fully it's just weird why you're putting a lot of effort which good for them into something that nobody wants to play well, I guess I don't get to wear my sweet 3D glasses. What are you going to do? Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Dislike it if you want. You, know, you can do that too. It is kind of a controversial topic.